Hey, thanks so much for tuning into the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. Today is Tuesday. We're going to be going verse by verse in the book of Philippians. And so we're in Philippians chapter 1 today, and we're going to be going through verses 7 through 11. All right, so verse 7, Paul says this. It is right for me to feel this way about all of you. Who is he referring to? He's referring to the church of Philippi here. And he's referring to the first uh, few verses here prior to verse 7 here, where he's thanking them for their partnership in the gospel, for, for their faithfulness, for their dedication to the Lord Jesus Christ. And so he's saying, hey, it's right for me to think this way because you have proven yourself faithful through your words and through your actions. And then he's going to go into where he is at. He says this, Since I have you in my heart, and whether I am in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. And so here at this moment here, he is in a Roman prison in Rome, and he's writing to, again to this church in Philippi. And he's saying, hey, it's not about me here. Hey, we're in this together. So he's like, whether I'm in chains, whether I'm suffering for Christ, because again, he is in a prison there for spreading the good news of Jesus Christ. He, there wasn't any heinous crime. He didn't commit a, adultery. There wasn't any theft or murder or anything like that. He's in there for the cause of Christ. And he's saying here, whether I'm in, in Roman prison uh, or you're out there, we're in this together. We're partnering together, which I absolutely love that attitude and perspective that Paul has here. And then he goes on and says in verse 8, God can testify how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. Again, he has such a care and concern uh, for this church. And then in verse 9, he says, this is my prayer for, for all of you. He says that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and in depth of insight so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless until the Christ until Christ Jesus' return. So he's saying here that it's important for the church to understand the word of God, that you would gain knowledge and that you'd have this uh, depth of insight. That's why we at Shrewsbury Assembly, that's why we send these out as far as these daily devotionals. Uh, not because we want to see ourselves on the screen. No, it's, it's, it's so that we can all, we can encourage each other. Hey, we're partnering together and we want to learn and grow through the word of God. And we, we want to have the, the, that spirit of discernment. We have to have discernment. Well, we have to know what the truth is. Well, how do we know what the truth is? By studying the truth. And so I want to encourage you, just like how Paul is encouraging the church of Philippi, I encourage all of you who are listening, who are watching this, to increase in knowledge, to increase in wisdom, and you have a depth of insight. And not just for knowledge's sake, because he's saying this, is that you would be pure and blameless, that, that you would you would have this, this pure motive, that you wouldn't just flatter each other, that you wouldn't just you know talk each other up when you're face to face, and then when you're not together, you tear each other down, you, you stab each other in the back, or you gossip, um, you spread rumors. He's saying, hey, let's have a pure motive here. Let's understand what God's called us to do and let's lift each other up with a pure motive. And then in verse 11, he says, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. Again, he he, he solidifies and understands where that fruit of righteousness comes from, not even through our own a knowledge, not through our own wisdom, but through Jesus Christ. And Paul refers to that in Galatians chapter 5 as well, when he goes through the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is the byproduct of us spending time with God. And so let's choose to do that. Let's choose to understand and uh, gain wisdom through His Word. And as we do, we would be able to have the fruit of the Spirit and we'd be able to have that discernment and we'd be able to share the good news of Jesus Christ with others. Hopefully that's an encouragement uh, to you today. Thanks so much for tuning in. I wish you tune in tomorrow for the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.